Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to understand the TML architecture and its components. So let's get it started. TML is three tier architecture. Tier one client and user interface. Tier two web application servers. Third is data tier. Step one: TML server registered with admin server. Say second step is TML clients con. Take the admin server and receive information about the TM1 server data available. Second, after determining which server are available, TM1, TM1 clients establish connection with TM1 server. The admin server maintain the following information about the, the TM1 server like uh, server name, IP address, protocol, and port numbers. Client components, T1 perspective, T1 architect, and web clients. In clients, in client server environment, corporate data reside on a remote server, which authorized user only can access it. All clients communicate with the remote server using TCP IP network protocol. When T1 server starts, the server registered itself to the admin server that is running on a specified admin host. T1 clients reference to the admin server to determine which T1 server are available on the network. An admin server must be running before the admin server is start. But now these but now in the latest uh, planning and uh, analytic workspace, we don't need to start the admin server first. Only you need to start TM1 server and it will auto automatically start your admin server. You have a specified admin host in TM1 CFG file or the server command line. The admin server will attempt to, to connect uh, to an admin ser server on the Host. If you have not specified admin host, TM1 server attempt to connect to an admin server on the local machine. Admin server become aware of the TM1 server on the network by listening notification from the server. There is one more interesting thing is that TM1 server sends notification of its presence at regular interval called heartbeat interval which is 30 second by default when admin server detect the admins the tm server that servers becomes registered and available to the client on the network if admin server does not detect the presence of the registered tm on server over the period equal to three times of the heartbeat interval which is 180 seconds that TMS server is removed from the list of server available on the network. Data directory in T1. The data directory contains queue files, T1, T1s, and system information that are loaded in the into memory when T1 server is started. When you access a server from the any clients. TM1 reads data from the TM1 server data directory. TM1 saves, saves data back to the data directory when the following action are occurs. Is this is a, if any of this action have uh, following the occur, then the your data will be write back to the data directory. TM1 server is shut down. When TM1 server is shut down, an, ad, an administrator right click on the server icon a, on in Explorer and choose save data from the pop up menu. This, de this detects TM1, TM1 to save data changes to the selected server. An ad, administrator chooses file and save data all in the server explorer. This direct t1 server to save the changes to all the connected server if you have the proper authority means you have if you have access then you can save 
data all the TM1 server at the single clip. Save data all. A user have the batch update. If you have batch update, then you can save data. TM1 user interfaces. TM architect, TM1 perspective, cube viewer, subset editor, TM1 web and turbo integrator. This is TM ar architect. It is look like this. TM1 tools. TM1 turbo integrator. Means which is also known as we call it in short TI turbo integrator process. Turbo integrator lets you design a process that recognize, recognize the data structure of the source and transform it into the appropriate structure data structure tm1 needs once the ti process is designed you can run it or it you can schedule it on a chore and import data from dynamic source like odbc tm1 cube view flat files any of the source you can use t1 perspective t1 pers perspective is a client tool uh, it is a excel add-in and uh, we can uh, tm1 perspective you can create manage and edit tm1 database and related object cube viewer this is when we open a cube it's uh, known as cube viewer where you can see all the cell in a cube all the data that is known as cube viewer Second is subset editor. This is your subset editor window. There is edit pane and properties pane. Element pane you can see hierarchical representation of all elements in the subset data currently viewing, which is this. And properties pane. Property pane currently in this picture is this. Uh, you can see, I can show you. Let me log in. Let me open subset editor of any like. Let me enable the properties window. He, the this is subs uh, your uh, elements pane, and this is properties pane. T one components. These are the T1 objects. Application, cube, dimension, replication, processes, and chores. Let's go one by one. T1 application. A T1 application is a collection of uh, other T1 object and file organized into a logical job specified grouping. Means uh, we can say. Uh, can excel file or cube view that are published to the webs are listed in the application folder as well as the url other files type and uh, security can be managed one on who will have access to the to the files the, here is application here we can maintain all the excel files cube view and other uh, URLs, all that thing we can maintain here, and we can uh, assign the security who can view it, who who can edit it, all that. And cube view, sorry cubes. From a technical point of view, a cube view is a container that holds data and allocates mem allocates the memory in them. A cube is defined by its dimension. When when you create a cube, you choose the dimension you want to become a part of the cube. A, a, a dimension can be a building block of multiple cubes, right? A, dim, a, a dimension can be mul, can be building block of multiple cubes, right? This is important concept or concept of shared dimension. A cubes is a container of cells. If you 
let me open a queue let me recalculate it as you can see these are uh, in this intersects in the cell means the, a cube is a container of cells dimension a dimension is a container of elements elements are unique object in the dimension means uh, every each and every elements are unique in the dimension they are identified by identified by their name or alias names each elements have its types like you can create c elements c indicate is consolidated or n elements which is simple or numeric and s element means string string type elements and replication or a process that copies cube from one server to another and may also have to synchro synchronize the updates among the cop copied cubes either at a specified time interval on the demand means that if there are two human admin server, server you can replicate that uh, that server on inside the tm1 application tm1 uh, learning appli server like that we can spec specify which uh, server you need to replicate in tm1 learning tm1 server where that if there are one more server then i can show you how we can do it we will uh, i will show you in next video and processes let's say de uh, developers use a turbo integrator to import data import data into cubes from data data sources including as ascii files odbc other cubes sap sap uh, you uh, from the sap you can import data chores batches of process may be assigned a schedule on which to run means using chores we can schedule a process to execute t1 process right thank you